I'm Larkin Rose, and I've sort of become well known as an enemy of the state, you could say. Um, I do a lot of YouTube videos, I have several books. Uh, basically, the main gist of my message is that government cannot be legitimate. Um, people want it, at least to begin with, they want it for good reasons to take care of the poor or defend us. Uh, but when you get right down to it, every kind of belief in government, every form of government, including constitutional republic or a dictatorship or anything else, uh, it, it simply can't be morally legitimate. It can't be um, rational. It can't be good. Philosophically, the idea of a ruling class, no matter what you call it, it falls apart if you're going to be moral and rational. And so most of what I do is try to to help other people through the journey I went through and coming to the realization that there can be no such thing as a good government. It's impossible. The reason I wrote the article, When Should You Shoot a Cop? And later it became a, a, a video. Uh, the guys at Cop Block made a video for the, I just read the, the article, uh, was I wanted to nudge people, and the title was supposed to make people uncomfortable. I wanted to nudge people into thinking about something that we're trained not to think about, which is the question of when is it morally justifiable to forcibly resist something done in the name of law? And I don't even really give my answer in the video. I just want people to begin asking the question, because if you open a history book, you will quickly see a lot of examples where people should have resisted the evil and injustice that was called law way before they did. And if people, if people can't even begin to consider the possibility of resisting somebody as long as the attacker has a badge and a uniform, then that's, that's how you get to totalitarianism. I mean, every single time it's the people thinking, well, it's authority, I'll do as I, I'm told and I'll abide by the law. So I, I wrote the article, When Should You Shoot a Cop?, just to nudge people in the direction of when do you actually resist? And not just by voting and petitioning and whining, because that, you know, you wouldn't have done away with Mao's empire or Stalin or Hitler by voting or whining. It was either resist or be horribly oppressed. And most Americans, most people in the world literally can't think about the question of when would I actually disobey and maybe even forcibly resist. And so really it's just, like a lot of my videos, the goal is just to nudge people to start to think about things that are outside of their comfort zone and things that most people are trained not to think about. I think it's hugely important that, I mean, I, I deal a lot with the, the concept of authority and the belief in authority and how it affects different people. Uh, including the guys in the uniforms and and the people they're beating up and the people who are watching and I think it's it's really important that there there be organizations like cop block out there who are out there pointing out what's actually going on and showing people here's the reality like never mind what you learned in civics in school about you know land of the free home of the brave yada 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 Right now in the United States, on a regular basis, people with badges and uniforms are assaulting, caging, and sometimes murdering unarmed innocent people. And I say innocent, I mean that sometimes they didn't even break the law, but a lot of the times the law is against activities that don't hurt anyone. And as soon as you accept the premise that politicians can tell us to do whatever they want, they can tell us what to eat or drink or, or where to live or any of that, that becomes a police state. And we are quickly charging towards that. And I think it's really important to be able to, to point out, like, like Cop Lock does, point out to people, look, this is the reality of what's going on out there. And if you think everything's just fine and it'll never happen to you, well, you know, watch a few videos and you'll see some other people who probably thought it would never happen to them. And then it did. And then they learned the reality about what this country really is, and it, it isn't what you learned in school, and it's not what you see in the textbooks.
Well, I, I think there are several several different uh, aspects of sort of the battle to achieve freedom. One is for people to literally see what's going on. Uh, and a lot of people, until it happens to them, have no idea what the police in America are actually like. And they, they sort of think, well, you get your day in court and, and you get justice. And every once in a while, there's some bad apple and you know, you hear that all the time. And the reality is the bad apple almost always gets away with it because all the supposedly good apples cover up for him and make excuses. And so the first step is just seeing the reality of what's actually happening. And, and you know, Cop Block has done a, a huge amount of, of good in that direction to have people see the reality. The second, I think, is the, the philosophical thing, which, which is what I usually deal with, is having people understand, uh, I mean, one of the main issues is the concept of self-ownership, that you belong to yourself. And it's a very simple concept. And most people say, yeah, of course I agree with that. But what that means is nobody has the right to aggress against you. And you know, if you're attacking somebody else, your victim has the right to defend himself and other people have the right to stop you. But if you're not attacking anybody else, nobody has the right to attack you. And that includes if they have a badge and a uniform. And so that, that's why I focus on the, the two areas of, of police abuse, if you want to call it that, are the illegal, where they're doing something that isn't even by their own rules, which happens all the time, and the legal abuse, where they do have the rules that say, we're allowed to beat you up and cage you because you have a plan that the politicians told you not to have, or you're doing some other uh, activity that the politicians told you not to, even though it doesn't hurt anybody. Um, so there really has to be, they have to factually know what's going on um, out there in the supposed land of the free, and they have to understand philosophically what freedom really is. Because as much as Americans talk about freedom, hardly any of them actually know what the, what freedom really is, and hardly any of them support it. They all seem to be perfectly content to have the state rob their neighbors for things they like and forcibly control their, their neighbors' choices and things like that. And, and so it really has to be a change in mindset. You know, people have to see what's going on, but also they have to realize we do not have a moral obligation to put up with this. And what is happening is immoral, whether you call it law or not, whether you have a badge or not. And until the people are willing to do what it takes to stop it, whatever that may be, then it, it's going to keep getting worse, as it has over and over and over again throughout history. Uh, my main website is just larkinrose.com, which is L-A-R-K-E-N-R-O-S-E.com. Lots and lots of free articles there. I also uh, recently have been doing a lot of YouTube videos, and my YouTube channel is just youtube.com slash larkinrose. Um, and a lot of what I focus on is just short little videos that they're not complex this isn't rocket science just to, to put a little seed in somebody's head of a concept that maybe they had never thought of having to do with politics and morality and philosophy because i know you know when i was growing up i never heard about these things i never really grasped the concept of self-ownership or the non-aggression principle which is don't attack other people i mean we learn that in our daily lives, but when it comes to, to politics and the game of government, people think it's okay. So, so I do what I can in articles on my website and YouTube and all over the place to try to start people in the direction of thinking about that. And when they do, they usually end up sooner or later where I am realizing government is not your friend.